Do you know what you want to work on? The top spin? Okay, sweet. Um, so you're doing a pretty good job of getting your balls to bounce on my side, that's good. I want you to, for when we're both just facing each other here, there's not as much time to be kind of turning and hitting every ball that way. So I want you to just stay facing me on these forehand and backhands, so just stay here, stay here. Try not to turn every shot. But yeah, just stay put, don't move. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, good forehand. Good. And then um, just really guide the ball. You're like three fourths the way doing it. Just like guide the ball all the way where you want it to go. Like it kind of feels like to me on your release of the ball, it's a little bit like go away. Just nicely tell it where to go. Ah! I thought I was going to hit the net again. I got scared. <laughs> I'm too old to get the stop it. <laughs> Good. Good. Those look nice. Where did you learn these nice strokes? My goodness. <laughs> All right. Good. Those look good. Yeah. Okay, cleaning up the back, making the backhand just a little more simple. So come back here, come back to the kitchen line for me. So for the backhand, you're waiting here, it comes to your backhand, you just drop it to here, and then you just move your shoulder forward. So it kind of feels like you're kind of more like to the left. That's how I do, that's my, that's my problem with the getting a flat back. Mm -hmm. I get too into this mm -hmm. and I get too And we'll, we'll work on the baseline for that. Because um, it is different from here in the baseline, but yeah, just uh, don't don't take it so much to the left, just in front, no problem. For up at the kitchen. A little too much. Good, nice. I really like that one. Good. Good try. Um, so it needs when you're going when you're here, it needs a little bit of up. And that ball had no up feel to it. Just a little bit, gotta get over the net. Good, yeah, there you go, you have the up. Great. Good, yeah. Good try. And, uh, yeah, don't rush these things. Take your time, There's no rush. Nice, count the ball where to go. Good. Good. Okay, didn't have enough up. Yeah, just a little more. A couple inches over the net. Maybe six. A little too far. Good. Good. Good try. It's going just a little bit too much this way when it should be more going this way as far as uh, that back end. So yeah, less left to right, more back to front. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Go. A little too much. Good. Good. A little too much. Good. Not enough. Not enough up. So when you first hit the dink, you got you connect with the ball. Um, it's kind of like if I if I if I ask you to throw a ball. You need to catch it or get a hold of it first, and then you're gonna be able to throw it. So you connect with the ball, you then go up, you give it the up it needs, and then you go forward. Um, some of the time you're forgetting step number two, which is the up. Up. Good, yeah, just that little up needs to happen. Good, those look good. I like, I like how you're hitting those last couple a little more confidently. That's good.
<laughs> you you remember a lot. Well, no, I, I, I really, I'll tell you what really I mean, it stuck in my head now whether I executed was the sort of the grab in the ball. Yeah. Yeah, that sure. really makes so much sense. Yeah. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. I mean, what what you're doing now looks pretty consistent. Yeah. And it looks like you have pretty good technique. Yeah, you're doing great. Um, now let's let's move on a little bit. Um, let's um, let's have you let's work on your baseline. So let's have you at the baseline and uh, let's see your forehand and your back end when you're back at the baseline. Okay. We'll focus on the back end first. Just because you said the back end uh, was betraying you and it wasn't working, so we'll figure out what was happening. Because it was probably happening more at the baseline. Okay, so stand more in the middle of your box so I can hit it to your back end easier. And then when you're at the baseline, remember I want you a little bit. Here, I'll move that so you can hear me better. Yeah, yeah. Um, here we go. So let's go back here. So when you're at the baseline, try to be a, like probably two full steps behind the baseline. Try not to wait just right here, because if it lands right on the line or right here, you're going to be in trouble. So it's easier to move forward than backwards. So just stand back here at a minimum. And then for a backhand, most of the time we need more room. So if you need more room, you're going to pivot your left foot back. Now you are sideways. And uh, we have time to do this because we have more distance here. And then we're kind of we're leaning forward and we're going to back to front feel. Um, and yeah, let's let's just have you try some. Like let's, let's like come stand here and let, let's see what you're gonna do. So we're doing a sh we're doing a shadow stroke. So we're pretending it's coming to your back end. What are you what are you gonna do? Okay, turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's stand it up a little bit. Okay. Sure. Okay, so a little wrist thing at the end. Okay, so let's clean it up a little bit. So instead of starting back here, I want you to start a little, like kind of just back at this back leg. Don't go further back than that. So just start here, don't go further back. And then I want it to make it more this way, where it's kind of more like a back to front thing. You're more going like low to high. And so this. So more like that. And you want to start here and finish here. So it's a, it's a little it's a little bit different than than that than that dink. It's a little bit bigger. And when, when you do it, don't just stay facing this side. Kind of turn. But when you finish, you want to be facing your opponent. So you, you're, this is still facing this side, but your upper body is facing your opponent. Yeah, um, but not. I don't want you to finish up here. I want you to finish where you want the wall to go, so just a little bit over the neck, so about chest height. Oh, chest. Oh, chest height is where you want to finish, yeah. And yeah, just try, to, just try to turn your hips as you go, so you finish pointing at your opponent. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just give that a try. And uh, I mean, if you want to try do it your old way, you can, but let's, let's just see what you can do on this back here. There you go. Good job. Okay, two in a row, not bad. Good job. Okay, you're a little bit, that's okay. Miss, miss has happened. Um, you're a little late on that backhand. And then also, you're kind of just like, like kind of slapping with your arm. Try to let your body do more of the work. Uh, where that kind of weight transfer does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So here we go. That was good, yeah, that was more body, good job. Here it comes again. Okay, try not to finish over here and be in control of your swing. Okay, good try. Um, if you, um, so try not to finish like this because this will go um, potentially too high. I would try to turn your forearm where it, can, yeah, it finishes more like that. There you go. Good job, again. Okay, a little too high. You don't need quite that much up. Go forward. 
So I want you to mostly think of this backhand and these ground strokes as a forward feel rather than an up feel. We just need a little bit of up. Here we go. Okay, you're late on your swing and be in control. There you go, good. Good control on good placement there. Good, yeah, so that height, you're hitting it right where you want it to go. That's good stuff. Nice, good job. Good, in, nice shot. Good shot, good job. Those, those look pretty good to me. Okay, um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you around a little bit so it's not, it's not super nice to do, and nice to see you. Here you go. Okay. Good, move. I got it! Oh, you, you, you I got it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Just out. Um, it's just a little bit slappy. Try to make it more steady and smooth. Let your body do the work. It's not slappy. Okay, you control how high over the net your ball goes. Uh, it's, it's a big difference, like your opponent is much more likely to miss if your ball is this high over the net than if your ball is this high over the net. This high over the net, they're going to probably pummel you if, you if they're up here. So it's a big difference. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, so just, just let the hips in your, in your body meet turning there. Do most of the heavy lifting. All right, here we go. Good shot. Go, go, go. Bye bye. Bad feed. Here we go. Good forehand. Okay, in both of those forehands, even though we haven't done forehands, you're really grabbing the ball well. Can we copy that to the backhand? No, go ahead. So on the back end, I want you to grab the ball well. Okay, here we go. Grab the ball well on the back end. Here we go. Decent. Okay, again. Okay. So you, I feel like you're gra you're grabbing it okay on those, but you're not telling it where to go once you've grabbed it. So gra tell it where to go better. Grab it. Tell it where to go. There you go. Pretty good. Just a little bit lower. And then, that was a good forehand. So with your forehand, you're going this way, where you're going forward. Your backhand, you're going left to right this way. And it's not nearly as powerful. Um, so I want, you, I, want to, I want to copy your forehand to your backhand a little bit. So, so ready? Show, show me a forehand. When it comes to your forehand, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, you're more, you're, more, you're more that way. So when it comes to your backhand, what are you going to do? No, just, show, just show me, show me what you're. Yeah, who knows? But okay, so turn like let's send it. We're hitting it this way to our opponent. So show me what you're gonna do. Okay, all right. So yeah, so make sure you're starting more like, at your back leg. Try not to start here and then just go this way. You want to be going forward, like more back to front and a left to right. And and when you finish. Remember, we're not finishing up at the head. We're finishing about chest height. And we're trying to turn your forearm as you swing. So it's not just staying up like this. It's turning where your forearm is there, like over the ball when you finish. That'll help your ball stay at the height you want it to go to. Yeah, turn, turn the forearm a little bit more. Turn, as you're swinging, turn the forearm a little bit more. Uh, turn your forearm. So, yeah, so even a little bit more than that. So your arm finishes like that, where it's like angled down. There you go. Yeah, so that, that'll help you control how high your ball will go over the net. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that's, that's for all of us. Okay, here we go. 
Good job. Pretty good. Again. That's more sideways. That's more sideways. Going back to front. So start more by your back leg. Here we go. Start by your back leg. Okay. Just don't finish over here. Finish out in front, pointed where you want the ball to go. Here we go. Good. I like how, I like though, even if the technique's not perfect, you're keeping all of these in, and you're, I can tell you're aiming. So I'm really happy about that. I'm just, I'm nitpicking technique a little bit so it's a little bit more sustainable. But you're doing great. Here we go. Okay. okay, and then I want you to practice right now. After you hit the backhand, I want you to come back to, to like face it. Like you don't know if it's going to come to your backhand two in a row, or you don't know where the return is going to go. So you turn, you hit your backhand, and then you come back to center. So that way you're ready for a forehand or backhand. Um, if it comes to your backhand again, you just get ready for another backhand. But then if it comes to your forehand, you can just get ready for a forehand. Um, so let's give that a try. So after each shot, get ready for either one. Here we go, backhand, turn, turn back. And, and remember, to, remember to aim. Here we go, aim. Good, get ready again. So you, you just stay there. You gotta, you gotta move back to, you gotta move back to ready position. Here we go. Ready position, move back. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's try. Let's try some forehands. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you ever done, the only times I've ever been like hit in the face with a ball? I did. Oh no. Like you know. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I. That's probably true. Most of the time, I'm. Yeah. Same thing for me. Yeah. Backhands are hard. All right, let's try some forehands. Here we go. Okay, not so high. Get it right over the net where you want it to go. Remember to aim. Okay, you're going up too much and too long. So you don't need it. You don't need quite so much of the up. Here we go. Okay, just out. Okay, and then you're not turning. Try to do the turn. Try to get that turn all the way down. Turn, swing. You see that? That was a lot better. So try to get that turn all the way down. It will. I promise it'll make your forehand a lot more powerful. Here we go. Turn, swing. Mm, that's a beauty. Again, turn, swing. The only thing is, after you hit it, you can't just watch it from here. You got to get ready for the next one. That's okay, but I like how you're hitting it. Here we go. Turn, hit, good. Get ready. Good. Okay, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. I can tell. Yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I mean, the forehand looks pretty. It looks pretty good to me. Um, for fun, do you remember how to do the top spin? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's actually let's um, we'll, we'll work on the top spin in a minute here. First, let's just see forehand and backhand. So don't worry about the top spin yet. Just do, we're gonna do, I'm gonna hit it to your forehand and backhand. Here we go. Try. That's a more of a footwork problem. Make sure you're moving for the ball. Boom. Okay. And I do like how that one's less slappy. You seem more in control on that last one. That's good. Okay, send it to this side, not to that side. Here we go. Good.
Yeah, and try, try not to slice the backhand for now, especially if it's a ground stroke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in pickleball, the backhand in pickleball, the backhand the slice is pretty good for. It's okay for the return of serve. It's okay to drop. It's okay to dink this way. It's not as good as like a ground stroke. Um, so if you wanna, if you're just like keeping the ball in play. We want to go flat or top spin. We don't want to slice it. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you you might need to just do whatever you're going to do, but also you you're good at this new way, so don't don't give up on it right away. Keep giving it a try. Here we go. Okay, good try. You're standing up really tall there. Stay down. Good. Go, go, go. Nice forward feel. Good. Oops, sorry, that's my bad. I, I, yeah, my bad. <laughs> So um, several of those, you're hitting it more, in my opinion, you're hitting it at like 70-75% pace and you're keeping it pretty low, you're in control of the ball, you're able to place it the way you want to. Um, I would rather you do that than hit it at 100% pace and hit it really high or hit it out or whatever. So anyways, I like when you're doing that. You don't have to do it every time, but it does look pretty good. Honestly, that's probably 100% from you? I'm saying that is my 100%. Oh, that is your 100%. Well, no, I mean, it just seems like you're in control. So try to keep that in control feel on your ground strokes, especially when you're in trouble. And when you, when you, like, when you feel the need to panic, don't just snap it or swing crazy. Try to still keep that control on your swing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good ground strokes. Good try. Um, I like how you turned and whatnot. You were just a little late with actually starting your turn back. Good. Really good. Yeah. That was, that was a nice shot. Good one. Good. Yeah. Good job. And good job. Your shot was actually dipping a little bit over the net. That was good. Okay. Um, you were a little late on actually your swing. A little too high. Get back, get ready. You're late in starting your swing. And then I like how you did slice it, but you didn't try to hit like a crazy shot. You just hit it where it was low. Sorry, not bad aim. Okay, get, get your feet and get your body ready for another one. Okay. You went a little bit farther, which is why I went to that side. Nice, good shot. Just out, good try. Good shot, go, go. <laughs> Sorry. Good try. Okay, let's, uh, look. I mean, I think you, you've got some basic uh, consistency right now, and when you get that turn and you keep that forehand low and you place it, I think you're going to be able to do some damage with that shot. Uh, let's work on your top spin starting at the kitchen line, and then we'll add it to the baseline. So I'm just going to, we'll first start where I'm just going to have you try adding top spin, try to remember what we did before, and then I'll, I'll help you.
Tell you, yeah, just, just try to remember. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so, um, so we're hitting dinks again. Um, so yeah, don't turn, yep, so just stay here. Okay, and you're trying to get your balls to bounce in the kitchen, so dinking, so just ding. Yeah, good try. Ding. Good. Good. Good try. Um, let's go over, let's go over the touch of it again. So you're facing your opponents. So stand like you would. Okay, there we go. And then for a forehand, you just drop it to here. And then it's like turning a doorknob. You just turn your doorknob here. And uh, you remember we have a little bit of space between your index and your middle finger. And then you just curl that index finger or the pointer finger. Um, so it's more turning it from here. And uh, yeah, like it's, you just kind of move your arm forward a little bit as you're turning. Yeah, it's just like that. Nice. We're trying to get it to bounce. Um, yeah, show me. Okay, so it's it's more so you're more turning it like this way, when it's more this way, and just finish right. Um, so this way would be more you're turning like that way. So like when you when you turn a doorknob, you hold it like I hold my doorknob here, and then I just turn it up. I don't really turn it that like that. I can't push my doorknob into the door. That would be more like that. Yeah, so it's more it's more this way. But you just kind of push your door open as you're as you're pushing the door as you're turning the doorknob, um, rather than like turning your doorknob through your door. You got to be like pushing the door open as you turn your doorknob. So my wrist isn't like actually going that way because I have a hold of the doorknob. It's just here, but I'm just pushing the door open as I turn my doorknob. Yeah, yeah, give that a try. Here you go. Okay, good. Much better. Good job. Good job. Good. Good. That's good. Good try. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. You see how much effort I put into that? I go. I mean, you're just teaching me. Like, you know, this doesn't count for anything for you. I gotta get that ball. I know. I yeah. Oh, I'm hungry to get that ball for sure. Okay, good. Here we go. Good. Let's look. Let's face it. Good. Nice. Good. Good toss spin. Okay, let's. So you have some of the basic feel for that. Go to the baseline and add that to your drive. Now you, now you do your drive. You're just turning that doorknob with the top spin, part of your drive. So it's it's a little different. You're you're just the only difference with your drive is instead of this thing here, you you just turn your wrist as you're doing your regular shot. Yeah. Yeah. So just adding some top spin to your drive. No problem. All right, here we go. Let's see your top spin on your drive. Okay, a little too high. Okay, and remember to get that full turn, and then you start turning back. All right, turn to the side. Okay, you're going up too long. So when you're getting ready for the ball, you turn here. I'm now facing court six for you. And then you turn back. So we're, we're still getting that turn. That was helping you get a lot more power earlier. Here we go, turn. That was good, good top spin. Okay, good try. Yeah. Um, you're going a little bit too far, which is why I'm going over there. Um, not the end of the world, just I want you to be able to aim. And then, um, so the topspin will help your ball stay in. Um, so that's good. 
Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Nice, good control, go. Good, nice, way to get your body into that better. Just a little more up, good try, again. Nice, that was a really good one, good shot. A little too much up. Here we go. Nice, good job. You're late on that one, and you didn't turn very well. There we go, good shot. Good. And uh, keep uh, keep giving the ball a good forward feel on it. Send the ball, send that ball forward. You, a good one or a bad difference? Good. Oh my great. Well, Glad I, you're here. I think I can stand here like this. You know? Because you've got to push it down a lot more. Good. Yeah, your opponents won't like it. Well, yeah, they really like it. <laughs> Alright, let's let's try for fun. Let's try adding that top spin in to your to your surf. Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's try. Yeah, we have we didn't look at your surf last time? No. Alright, well let's look at it today. So we're gonna we're gonna improve your surf. Um, just serve it normally like you regularly do. And then we're gonna add top spin to it. So yeah, let's just try some serves. Okay. That was it. Hmm? That was it. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, sometimes when you do, so you know how on your on your ground stroke, how you turn to the side and then you hit it. Can you do that on the surf? What? Um, when you when you get your good power, you're kind of more facing this way, and then you'll turn. Oh, and that's wrong. Yeah, can you do that on the surf? I um, try. Yeah, give it a try. I think it'll, if you can do it, it'll give you a lot more power. Okay, good try. Try again. Yeah, face court six, and then turn to your opponent, cross side cross court, and get that turn to give you power. So it's, that turn isn't translating into power into the serve. Get it, get that energy into the ball. There you go. Hey, see that though? That was good. That makes a difference. Yeah. No, you're good. Um, keep, keep going. You have a couple balls in there. I'm just, I'm just going to make it so. But that's better. Yeah. That's Good. Yeah. Do it again. There we go. You're getting the energy forward yeah. into the ball well there. That's so awesome. This alone makes my game. Okay. And then, all right, you ready? So a couple objectives. One is I want you to try to serve more at your belly button. You're holding it pretty low by your knees. I don't hold it closer to your belly button, so the higher we can serve it, the better. For example, let me ask you, which is better, a tennis or a pickleball serve? Which is better? Mm -hmm. Which, which, oh, what? Tennis. Yeah, tennis. In tennis, you'll get aces. Yeah. Pickleball, you may win the point with your serve, but you always get a paddle on it. It's, it's not as deadly. In pickleball, if I could serve it overhead, I would, um, because, yeah, it would be like a tennis serve. 
but we have to serve belly button height or lower, that's the rule, and it's because the lower the serve is, the worse it is. So when you serve it more at your knees or your feet, you're voluntarily making your serve not as good. When you serve it more at your belly button, you're making it better. So hold it higher and keep going, keep going forward on your, on your hit. Good try. <laughs> nice, good serve. This is a Yeah, nobody ever told me. Yeah, you could. I don't watch them. Nice. Okay, and I want you to aim three feet over the net. When you hit the, the closer you hit the ball to the net, the shorter the ball will go. We want your serve to go deeper, so you don't want to aim just over the net. Three feet over the net and hit it really hard. So three feet over the net and hit it. Go for it. Some passion. Okay, so that was it. Pretty good. But, but I had passion. Okay, I had passion. It's pretty good, but it was only one foot over the net, so it went shorter. I'm asking you to go three feet over the net. Okay, <laughs> let's try again. Three feet. Okay, pretty good, good depth on it. Three feet forward. Yeah, so rather than like thinking I'm gonna hit it deep, I'm asking you to aim three feet over the net and it will naturally go deep and it won't miss. There you go, yeah, perfect. Yeah, do, yeah do, just do that every time. Ooh, you hear that good sound? Yeah. That was it. Oh, okay. Well, you <laughs> he struck the he struck the ball. Well. Good. Yeah, a little too low, but I mean, overall, significantly better. I'm happy for you. Okay, not horrible. Oh my God, not horrible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it, even even as a slight mistake, it was pretty good. Okay, good good turn. It didn't flow quite as good as some of the yeah, other ones have. Three feet, three feet. Three, yep, three feet exactly. Because I want you to That's get good depth. Yeah, you, you're addicted to one foot. And the problem with one foot too is if you miss by one foot, you're gonna hit into the net. Okay, just barely out. When when you go, when I tell you three feet, it doesn't mean swing up as much. Just just a little more up. You don't have to like just be swinging up like that. Because the concept is very. I don't know why it's difficult to think three feet. I don't know why. Normally, on like a ground stroke, we want to keep it close to the net. They have to let your serve bounce so we can aim a little higher. Okay. Good depth. That's good. Okay. Um, go ahead. Let's go. Glad to hear it. I can do this without changing one other thing. Good. Let's have you go to the left side. Yeah, we'll go that way. And after one or two, when you get your rhythm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock your world again. <laughs> yes. Nice. You got better top spin that time, and you really grabbed the ball well. That was good. One more, and then I'm gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit. Okay, pretty good. Okay. So, what, what, yeah, that's right, this is maniacal. Here we go, so what grip are you holding right now? Okay, do you know, do you know what that is? Continental? Continental, yeah, yeah, good. What is continental good for? The continent. <laughs> the continent. It's good for pretty much everything, right? It's pretty good at forehand, pretty good at backhand. Um, you can do everything with it. Um, do we need backhand when you're serving with a forehand? Are you going to hit a backhand when you serve? 
or are you gonna hit a forehand? Forehand. Yeah, you're gonna hit a forehand every time. They can't force you to hit a backhand. So we know we're hitting a forehand, so we don't necessarily need to be ready for a backhand. We need to be ready for a forehand. So what I'm proposing is I'd like you to try doing your forehand with a forehand grip, and then after you serve it, you can come back to continental. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, so let's go over grips real fast. So for a forehand grip, um, so continental is here in the center. Forehand grip would be more where your thumb's on top and your and your hand is more on the right side of the paddle. That would be more of a forehand grip. I've never held a, anything like that before. Wow. I, 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 I think you're going to like it. Really? It feels very so. loose and easy. Well, you're, we're going to find out. That more of a backhand grip would be where the V of your hand is more on the left side of the paddle or you're more over here. Um, but yeah, this would be more of a forehand grip. What do you want me to do? So I, I want you to try holding it this way and serve it the same way, but you're going to need to aim a little bit higher because this is a little bit more of a forehand grip, so you're going to just aim a little higher. So aim, so yeah, if you hit it like you normally do, it will hit the net, so just aim a little higher, but swing the same way with that new grip. That was good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Try again. Good, you're getting better, more top spin. What does this mean? It's different when it goes over the Um, it's it just it's a forehand grip. You get better top spin on it. Yeah, you hear that? Good. You're striking the ball better. Yeah, it works. Good. Yeah. No, I. I think you're. Yeah, I told you. I would think you're gonna like it. Good. Yeah, it seems. It, it just makes forehands a little bit easier, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah, good. Effortless. Okay, go, keep going forward. Three feet over the net, hit it really hard. Okay, that's one foot, a couple inches. you go, I'm like, okay, I'm going to hit it right this far. Yeah, right. Follow your Okay, that's like a foot, yeah, three feet. You're nowhere near missing it out, so yeah, aim a little higher. <laughs> Good, there we go. That was closer to it, good job. Okay, and then I want you to... <laughs> I want you to try, instead of starting back here, try just starting right here. Yeah, try not to start so far to your right. Yeah. It's okay. It's a, it's a different, it's a little different motion for you. Okay. Three feet, three feet over the net. Higher. Good. Yeah, that depth is going to, the more depth right there is going to bother them. Okay, and then you remember how we're turning your doorknob for topspin? Yeah. Can you emphasize that? On this? Yeah, yeah, on this too, yeah. More topspin. Good. Good topspin. Just a little long, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, It'll fix it. Good topspin. Try again. Good topspin. See how, is easier this way. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Forehand, forehand grip. Yeah. So. But you've got to switch your backhand, right? Um, it's hard to do a one-handed backhand with a forehand grip. So yeah, after you serve it, in theory, you would want to switch it back. It, it's. I know. I, I teach you magic. Why didn't anybody tell me about this? <laughs> I know. I didn't start doing that until four years of playing pickleball. Four years wasted. <laughs> Good. Like nice. I like how kind of kind of swatted it a little bit more. It was fine. No big deal. Cool. Good. I like it. So right there, to me, the difference is you're swinging freely. Like you're like, no way I miss it. And as long as you keep it three feet over the net, you got this top spin. You won't miss. Oh yeah, you can fr swing freely. Swing with passion. You got it. Yeah. Good. Good top spin. Hey, you can't miss this way. You have, a, you have a killer serve and you can't miss. That's 
good. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, try aiming to their backhand. <laughs> That's a lefty full backhand. <laughs> okay, so when you, so just help giving you a hit here. So the more you turn, the more it's going to go this way. So just don't turn quite as far. Okay, so a little bit more next time. <laughs> That's okay. Find a happy medium. That's good. Okay, how about instead of changing how you swing, let's just stand more towards the middle. And it should go a little bit more to the backhand just naturally. There you go. Okay. Easy, easy fix. Yeah, change my position. That's what I get the ball. Yeah. Okay, try again. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, just aim a little higher. You're scaring me. <laughs> good. Nice. Emphasize the wrist turn a little bit more. That's okay. Timing was a little off. Good. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah. And uh, send the ball more forward. We want your ball to bounce and kick out. Some passion. Forward. There we go. Good. Just a little more depth, but I like the feel of that. Nice. I like that sound of how you struck the ball. That's good. Good stuff. Okay, you ready to rock your world again? No. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. Oh, it's like I'm getting a hard time incorporating these things. Yeah, lot and. Can <coughs> we just. Mm -hmm. do this? Tell me. I can't. I mean, honestly, I don't know very much. I mean, I feel like I'm like. Yeah, I, I remember you telling me that. Yeah. I was just gonna suggest that. that. Was my world you were gonna I was gonna well I was I was gonna suggest that. Yeah, why don't you try some regular forehands? The, just remember the negative is if you try to do a backhand with this grip, it's gonna be tough. But if you can do a forehand, just a forehand ground stroke, it could be really good. Yeah, so I'll just hit it to your forehand. Let's see your forehand. Good shot. Good shot. Good. You're getting good top spin. Good top spin. Good. You like it? Pretty good. Hey, don't, don't, don't get overwhelmed. You're doing great. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So what happened earlier was you just went right back to like your old backhand. You were doing like just slices, which is not the end of the world, but yeah, you just went right back to your old way. Um, so, I mean, I think long term, maybe it would make sense if when you're at the baseline, you hold it this way for four hands, and then we, we just need to find a way for the backhand not to miss. So it could, a lot of times, people, if people have this forehand grip, they'll do a two-handed backhand to make up for the wrong grip. So you could do that, you could change your grip, I mean, whatever we got to do to just keep the backhand in play, but it could be worth just having this forehand grip when you're at the baseline. Um, I mean, I'm, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what exactly to do. 
but I, I do think you I do think your forehand seemed to be effortless with this grip. And so if we could find a way for your backhand not to completely mess you up, it would be really nice to add to your game. So let's let's try some forehand and backhands. Let's just see what happens. Try this try this new forehand grip and just see what we can do. Hold on. And let's let's go straight this direction. I'm gonna go to the basket, we'll just do a couple of straight this direction. That's right, no mercy for you. Good try. Stay calm. Nice forehand. Good try. Take your time with that backhand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Is that okay? You, you, you said you did tennis before, right? So it's just like tennis, change your grip. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind that. And also now you can use your tennis experience of changing your grip. Like you, you've done that a lot. You, you can do it here. Yeah, no problem. Great. Okay, right, here we go. Good try. Just a little too far. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, sure. And it, um, yeah, you want to be careful at the kitchen of like switching your grip because if you, if I have this grip and they attack me, I won't have time to change my grip. I would start with continental, and then if it's really slow and you want to change your grip, you could. Um, but I like to rest in continental. So it's like, let's say it's up here, I'm like, oh, really easy, and I just quickly like switch to a forehand grip. It's slow enough where I could do that, but if it came really fast right there, I might ha not have time to switch it. So, like for example, if I was waiting in a backhand grip, and it came over here, I might have the wrong grip. Yeah. Okay, let's keep, let's keep going just a little bit more. Forehand and backhand, keep doing the new forehand grip when you get forehands. I'm liking it for you. That's good. Nice, sorry. You hit it so good I messed up. Okay, and I just the uh, your goal for the backhand when you slice it is just keep it low and uh, don't try to go for anything too crazy. So the backhand, keep it in play. Forehand, you can go for a little bit more. Try. Nice. Slower on that backhand slice. You're really, it's like you're cutting it. It should be more smooth and elegant. Nice forehand. Woo! <laughs> Not a clean winner. There we go. Okay, so keep that low. You're a little late there. Nice, go, go, go. You good get? Here we go. Whoa, good shot. Nice. Good try. The timing was a little bit off on it. A little too high. Nice. Good. Do that. Do that footwork of getting in the right spot a little bit sooner. That's good. Go, go, go. Yeah. Just. I want you to think slow with that back here.
right, let's do a little bit more. Backhand, half speed, forehand, regular speed. Okay, let's, let's try that. We're going to alternate. Backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. Backhand, half speed, forehand, regular speed. Okay, here we go. Backhand first, half speed. Okay, that's about two thirds. I want half speed. Ready? Half speed. Okay, be smooth. Okay, pretty good. Ah, I got it. I got it. Nice forehand. Half speed. Okay, that was half speed. Good job. I think so. Yeah, I, I think you'll have more control and you'll hit better backhands for sure. The grip changes. Yeah, that's a little bit more, but yeah, you got it. Okay, a couple more balls and we're, we're good for the day. All right, keep working on that half speed backhand. Here we go, half speed. Try a little too high. Okay, get that turn done a little bit better. Forehand turn. Good try, almost. Half speed. That's a good half speed right there. Good job. Forehand. A little too high. Nice. Good half speed when I attacked you pretty hard. When they attack you harder at that backhand, stay calmer. Half speed, no problem. That's a little more slappy. Half speed, nice and smooth. Yeah, try not to accelerate once you hit the ball. Just stay steady. That's a little bit better on staying steady. Good job. All right, three more. Half speed. Good, nice half speed. Nice forehand again. Good, nice forehand power. Good, half speed. Sorry, I missed. Yeah, way out. My bad. Half speed. Too high. That's too close to your body. Here we go, half speed. A little too fast. <laughs> All right, let's pick up balls for a minute. Good job.